All right, time to play some H3 VR. No new toys today, but we do have a new item spawner. Check it out. It's uh, not yet completely finished, uh, according to Anton, but uh, we get to play around with it today and uh, check out how it works and all the cool stuff that comes with it. All right, so yeah, let's get started. So, like I said, this is the new item spawner. Nice little video files playing at the same time. Look at that. <laughs> 3D. Ooh. But uh, yeah, it's a video file. And uh, I think I touched upon this last time, but here are videos here that we can watch. To get a gun, click, click on the top bar buttons to go to their various pages. Each page will save your selection and tags until you load into a different scene or reload the current scene. This spawner is still under construction, so some pages may be incomplete or missing. Okay, cool. Yeah, but I showed this off last uh, last time, last week. Uh, it was kind of a little rough because I guess the loading was not consistent or something like that. So it would kind of hang and not uh, play. But I think Anton managed to fix that. So... Right, let me just uh, adjust the height here. Also notice that there are buttons on the corner. You can raise the height or lower it. Or if you are more, you know, physical, there are handles here you can grab. I prefer like this. Because I am a pretty tall dude. Well, I think average height, six foot, but uh, <laughs> yeah. That's average height? I think so, whatever. No one really cares. All right, so how about this tall right here? But there are buttons there. You can raise it, lower it, whatever. All right. To get a gun, click on the firearms. You can click the spawn. You can pretty much to open to go to to to, to go to go back to the. You you, you to, to click on the top bar button. Okay. To their various pages. See that seems to work because last time it would just it would either it would either uh, it would either not play the video or play it but uh, uh, what you call it it would be a little laggy. To get a gun, you can pretty to to to, 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 to click But it seems like it's uh, working properly now, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think I need to go through the tutorial since I've been playing this game for a long time. To get a gun. Click on the firearms button. On okay. The top. Use the tag category section on the left to narrow things down. Then click on a gun icon to select it, and in the rightmost panel, click the spawn button, and your gun will appear. Okay. Well, that's the new item spawner, which is pretty cool. You can click the spawn ammo panel button right on this page. You can also click on the ammo button on the top bar to see all ammo, magazines, speed loaders and stripper clips available in game the ammo page uses similar tag sorting to firearms cool yeah so we all know about the ammo panel you can spawn lock ammo magazines speed loaders and clips to duplicate them to do this place the object in one of your quick belt slots hover your empty hand over the slot click the touchpad slash joystick the slot will then turn blue you can now take copies of that object out of the slot. Check the help section for more detailed spawn locking mechanics. I completely forgot. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do this. Uh, spectator. There we go. Things more smoother. All right. Pretty much all guns shoot by pulling the trigger. You might have to do something else first, though, to ready the gun. Make sure if your gun has a safety that it is disengaged. This is done by clicking the touchpad or joystick to the left. You should hear a click. Also, make sure you've got a round chamber. Visit the sampler platter scene for an intro to common gun controls. To open the options, turn your controller around oh. on an empty hand. The wrist menu should appear. Point at the options panel button with your other controller and click. This will spawn the options panel into your hand. To go back to the main menu from any scene, turn your controller around on an empty hand. The wrist menu should appear. <laughs> Point at the return to main menu button with your other controller and click. To change your style of locomotion, turn your controller around on an empty hand. 
the wrist menu should appear. Select any of the movement options at the top. Note there are lots of options to tweak these that are in the options panel. There are general locomotion options and specific options for each locomotion type. Okay, so yeah. Uh, hold on just a second. I'm, uh, somebody's calling me, so I need to pause the video for a bit. I'll be right back in a second. All right, sorry, where was I? I somebody called me, and I had to check outside. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, we got all the stuff down, got some links to uh, some sources, the uh, wiki, bug reports, the Discord. All right, let's check out the actual item spawner. So this is this is what we're all here for. This was not available uh, in the past couple of weeks, but now it works. Uh, at least, hopefully it works. We're here to test it, so uh, let's just check this out. We got our tags over here, which is pretty cool. We'll focus on that in a minute. Got our cool uh, little center place where we have all the weapons and stuff. I think uh, I might show this as a list, but we'll go with the grid for now. And uh, we got a window over here for other stuff. So let's just select something. Flamethrower. Okay. And of course, there's our flamethrower. We can spawn it, and there are no related objects, no tutorials yet. I think Anton's working on that, but uh, we got some tags over here. Cool. And these are favorite buttons. So we'll check that out in a minute. But let's go and, uh, whoops. I guess I selected the red hot dogs a favorite. So let's see. Let's check out the new stuff, which was the, uh, all the weapons uh, introduced in update 100. We're still in alpha, so it's not complete yet, but uh, here you go. All right, cool. Yep. Hmm. Uh, PSG1. Got the PSG1. We got some related objects. Let's uh, look for something with more stuff. Here we go. Yeah, PP19. Spawn this. Okay, cool. And uh, let's see. Let's spawn some mags. Got a suppressor, foregrip, sight, and laser. Cool. That's how it works. Hold on, let's just uh, get some SOSIGs in here first. Let's take out the suppressor. I want to hear some. I want to hear some shots. All right. Cool. So yeah, Get some tags there. Let's clear those tags. Let's add some tags here. Let's go and uh, country of origin. Let's see. Hmm. I want to choose something. That's Germany. Mm, maybe not. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's see. Republic of Austria. Mm, okay, cool. German Empire, yep. Third Republic. French Republic. Fourth Republic. Wait. Brazil. <laughs> uh, all right. Germany, Japan only has one weapon so far. Vietnam, Czech Republic. All right, Italy, only two. Hmm, Italian Republic. Oh yeah, here we go. We get the Berettas now. 
yeah, this is a pretty cool item spawner so far. Again, the text, uh, some people say the text might be a little small, but the, one of the benefits of being in VR is that we can go up real close. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that. I mean, I'm wearing the Vive headset, and the text is a little small, like from this distance right here. But, I mean, VR, you can just do this. Oh, that's the medical 180. So, yeah. Let's see. We got years. Got stuff all the way to 2503. <laughs> that's the uh, Firefly. I don't know if uh, people have unlocked that yet, but uh, that's a... Uh, I think that's a worst... What is it called? Uh, worst world unlock. Okay. 2020. <laughs> oh yeah, Anton's uh, craziness. Firing mode. All right, feed option. You know what? Let's full auto. There we go. Yeah. So this page is like all of them, I guess. So yeah, there's a there's a lot of guns in this game. Four hundred sixty-eight. Thirty-nine pages. Uh, let's just narrow that down to full auto. So we got 16 pages left. Okay, cool. And then feed option. We will do a stripper clip. Oh, you can do that. Okay, cool. None. What does none do? None. Okay. <laughs> Internal mag. No end block clips. Huh, okay. No breech loaded fully automatics. <laughs> uh, box mag. Okay, we'll go with box mag. Mag. Which doesn't seem to... Oh, nope. We lost a few guns. 185 to 182. Magazine type. Okay, this is going to be... Uh, yeah. Let's uh, go with a Stanag. 556. Attachment mount. Picatinny. We got 11 guns narrowed down. Uh, country of origin. Let's go with a US of A caliber <laughs> well i mean uh where is it 5.56 by 45 yep round class hmm nope we don't have any uh full auto uh box mag loaded stanag uh stanag box mag loaded with uh Guns with Picatinny rails from America that are pistols. So <laughs> let's not go with that. Intermediate. Mm. Action. Yeah, I'm kind of a, uh, kind of, whatchamacallit. I've kind of boxed myself into a corner by selecting all these options here, but you guys get the idea, right? So, category. Uh, miscellaneous? No. Rifle? Yeah. Subcat. All right, well, whatever. You know, you understand the tag. So that's the tag system. Let's uh, select this and let me get rid of some of this stuff. Get rid of all these things. All right. So let's go move on to the favorites. So if I put that as a hot dog. Now my category is favorites, so let's click select tags. And I want to bring out my favorites. Boom, there it is. So let's uh, let me see. Hold on, just a second. Let's select this. Go to the favorites, and then bam. All right, cool. So you got favorite gun. Uh, as far as I remember, I think uh, Anton said that the random gun button is coming later on. It should be. Uh, it's, he's still working on it, so. But we got favorites now, so spawn ourselves a Mark 18 custom. All right, let's see. Just a regular Stan Ag Mag, I guess. And uh, this. Although it doesn't seem like it's showing the uh, suppressor that goes with this. That's kind of strange. Let me just check something here. Let's see, uh, set, no, no, subcategory, 
We got ourselves a submachine gun. Where is submachine gun? There it is. <clears throat> you know what? Country of origin. Let's go with the... Uh... No, sorry. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so um, seems like it, it fills up this uh, bottom page. I guess it was just missing some of those things for the Mark 18. So let's go back to this. Uh, yeah. All right. I mean, you know, we got the favorites setting. We got tutorials coming soon, so that's pretty cool. Check out the ammo. Oh, wow. More tags for the ammo as well. Huh. Caliber. Let's do, uh, let's see. Ah, all right. All our magazines here. Uh, you know what? Let's get rid of this. Let's go with the uh, big, big boy. Oop, that's not going to work. Okay, cool. What about attachments? Let's clear that, those tags first. Wait, hold on. GP testing cube. Ooh, it's a cube. Oh, that's uh, something that shouldn't be in the item spawner. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Hold on. That's a gold AKM magazine. I've seen this before, but it, it was in the older builds of the game. Let me just go and uh, grab ourselves a right. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to remember. Set. Uh, let's see. Subcategory. Assault rifle. AKM. Oh, there it is. Right, hold on. Let me just check this out. Hmm. Okay, so the story behind the gold magazine, if for those who don't know, is that uh, these used to be infinite ammo magazines, if I remember correctly. It was a long time ago, but uh, yeah. So if you wanted infinite ammo for your AK... You would get a gold magazine. That's pretty cool, seeing that in the uh, item spawner. Hold on, just a second. I want to check what else is in here that that is secret. Uh, that's the uh, lemon for the uh, sustenance AR3. Cyber handgun mag. Oh, hey. Wait, hold on. Just a second. I don't see the cyber handgun in here. Let's go and look for pistols. Pistols. Where are the pistols? Automatic pistol. Nope. I don't see it in here. Nope. Yep, nope, it's not in here. But we do have the cyber handgun mag, which is uh, pretty strange. Trowns, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the testing cube. Okay. Gold mag. Cyber handgun magazine. I'm trying to check what else is uh, hidden in here. Eagle mag. Evo three. Uh, Frontier model B.
LAPD 2019. Yes, I know that. <clears throat> Rocket. Okay, yep. Yeah. Mag 7. Wait. Match 22. Yep, I know about that one. That's a unlockable gun. All right, just checking, making sure. The 90 mag. Potato for the potato launcher. Potato cannon, sorry. Uh, Nikita, or remote missile, uh, missile, missile. <laughs> remote missile, missile, missile. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, scout mag, yep, I've seen that before. Okay, speed loader. Snail mag for the Stenoff. Stinger battery. Sustenance crossbow. Oh, man. So many magazines. Let's see. And that's stuff for flint locks. Okay, cool. So the gold magazine and the cyber gun mag are in the item spawner for some reason. <laughs> Which, uh, if I remember, I think, I think Anton said he would put the unlockable guns, the hidden guns, secret guns in the item spawner, but I don't know. I think I might have read that wrong. But yeah, it looks like those are showing up. That's pretty interesting. Okay, uh, yeah. So attachments. Let's see our attachments here. Got everything. Oh yeah, the bike bell. I haven't played with that in a long time. You know what? All right, cool. What else? Uh, what else is here? Got that MLG air horn. Oh, the train whistle. Yeah, I got. I could have stuck that on this gun. Shift shorty. Uh, let's see. Oh, gotta scratch my nose. Sorry about that. Yep. Nope. Nothing. Nothing unique here. Oh, it's a rail adapter for the uh, FAMAS. Hmm. More red dots. Telescope scope. Oh, that's a stock. I thought that was a. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was a red dot or something. No, it's a stock. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna spawn one of these. Okay. Cool. Some stocks, suppressors. I don't really need. All right. Bayonet. I could stick a bayonet on here. Where's the M9 bayonet? There it is. Which doesn't quite work, I don't think, with this. I don't think it works with this. No, it doesn't. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this is the Mark 18. All right, well, that's okay. Uh, hmm. All right, well, let me just uh, grab a scope here, or a red dot. Yeah, there we go. Oh, man, hold on. I had to scratch my nose again. Cool, cool. Tools and toys. Got a get a hair. It's uh, in my headset. It's tickling me. <laughs> All right, we got a couple of things here. Oh yeah, I know about these two. The uh, cast iron pan, the circle saw. That's all unlockables. Uh, let's see. Saw bat is an unlockable. I know that. These are ingredients for the uh, banger machine, which we still have. Got our, hey, okay. Gun hat case and gun hat keys. Which uh, are, I guess, part of the item spawner now. Uh, my gun hat. I unlocked all these a long time ago, but uh, hmm. There you go, buddy. 
Yeah, I unlocked a lot of gun hats. <laughs> so, uh, I forgot what meat was that. I think that was 2017? 2018. Was it 2017? Oh. I don't remember where the uh, gun hats, uh, wh which meat, meat miss the gun hats were, but uh, that was a long time ago. Okay. Some tippy toys. Let me just check uh, and see if there's any new ones or any secret ones. All the pack. Uh, I've seen these before. Red the pig. Good gas grill. Some of these are from Rot Wieners, I think. Or no, wait. Uh, no, some of them are missing. Well, it's been a long time since I played Rot Wieners, so I can't tell you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, yep, yep, everything seems to be there. Got our ordinance. Okay, cool. And targets, which we don't have that many of, which is, uh, uh, should be coming. I think Anton is still, uh, uh, working on that with his contractors. But, yeah, there you go. This is the new item spawner. Lots of cool stuff. Especially the, uh, hidden stuff that was, uh, that wasn't there before. Which, I mean, if I remember correctly, you could, uh, you could also go the modded route and, uh, it would unlock all of this in the uh, original item spawner. If I remember correctly, I just want to check. Let me just see. Uh, backpack, yeah. So if you if you were modded and you had cursed DLL, you would have all your items here. All the items in the game. But since I'm not playing modded, which is interesting because uh, I'm seeing some hidden stuff here. But I really need to check the firearms. But there are a lot of firearms in this game. There are about... 468 firearms, so somebody will probably find something. I don't have time to check out all 39 pages uh, in detail. I could probably, but uh, it would take like maybe an hour or so. Maybe just Let me just quick skim through all these. Okay, Mod 22, Mass 20, uh, Mark 22, L14. USB match, the TA Thunderer, I remember that, Brown Bess, Flintlock, uh, let's see, keep going, keep going, so many guns, oh, uh, Mads and Lar, that was, uh, that was a meat miss drop, if I remember correctly, well rod as well. Uh, let's see. The moss is new. Wait. Oh, that's the, uh, <laughs> the, um, the M1600. Which, uh, coincidentally, country, that's, uh, that should be the, uh, Republic of the Philippines. Since it's, uh, arms corps. We make uh, really crazy, kind of stupid guns down here, but hey, uh, whatever. All right, no, well, you know, I think Arms Corps was acquired. Uh, no, 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 yeah, it might be U.S. though, because I think uh, I'm trying to remember where Arms Corps is from. It started out in the Philippines, and then it went over to the U.S. and then. You know, they're based there now. But, uh... I don't know. Uh, we'd have to discuss that with everybody else. <laughs> uh, I was like, wait a minute, I've never seen this gun before. No, it's the M16000. <laughs> so, uh, the, uh, yep, that's the uh, tactical version of the M16000. Just looking through and seeing if there's any hidden stuff. See any. Mark 12. This is a shotgun. Yeah. Okay. Four letter word. Unlockable. Rot wieners. Uh, not seeing anything new. Or anything uh, secret. Hmm. 
<laughs> so many guns. It's just... It's actually tiring <laughs> to go through this many guns. Good. It's still good, but it's it's just very exhausting. All right. The Viper. I know that was a meat miss drop. That was a pretty fun meat miss. UMPs are new. Or remodeled. Yeah. Okay. Got to finally get into ordnance here. Graviton Beamer. Is a classic re remastered. Uh, I think that's it. There's no uh, hidden guns in the uh, firearms section. Ammo. Uh, no, I already checked ammo. So yeah, just uh, just those two, I guess. It'd be really nice to have the cyber cyber handgun in the uh, item spawner, as well as the uh, the lock and the Gluger. Remember those in the uh, Thompson Mark II. Uh, what else guns that are secret? The uh, Lee Enfield Swede mod. That would be kind of cool in the item spawner. Uh, actually, hold on. Boop. Oh, wow. Select matching tags to held object. Real 5.56 uh, Stanag. So, oops, that's ammo. Oh, oh no. I have so much stuff here. Uh, Picatinny or... Hmm. Okay, well. Oh, nope. SMG rifle. Huh. Was that just both of them? I guess. Huh. All right. Well, cool. That's the item spawner. Pretty cool. Let me just uh, take out the rest of these sosigs. <laughs> oh, hopefully the... Uh, this doesn't mess up on me here. Let me just grab this and... Put this here. Okay. That doesn't seem like it's going through the uh, player camera, so that should work. That's hilarious. You know what? Wait a minute. Oh, that's just, uh, yeah. Those are just uh, for development purposes. Let me see. Hold on. Where is that? Uh, where's that? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Let me. Uh, decorative? No. What do you call those? Oh, that way. Whatever. Train whistle. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, there's my mag. There it is. Do we have any survivors? Ah, we do. Oh, this is going to get loud here. <laughs> oh, the train whistle is always so fun. All right, well, that's the item spawner, and there's not much else that's uh, in the game right now. Hold on, just a second. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Oh, you're still alive. Can I throw this? Oh, that's smart. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Finally, a day off. Are you dead? Yeah, good enough. <laughs> I just had to do that. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the uh, item spawner. It's the new item spawner. Uh, it's still a work in progress, like Anton said. But, oh yeah, okay. That's just going to be stuck there until I reload the scene. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good so far. Um, I think one thing that I would uh, like, 
I understand if he doesn't put it in the game, but uh, a way to search for things, right? I mean, the tag feature is pretty cool, but I was thinking more of like, uh, you know, a keyboard would uh, pop out or something. Not a keyboard, but you know how in Steam VR or whatever, you get to input some text, right? Something like that. But that's okay. If that doesn't happen, this is, this is fine. I can still search for uh, things. Pistol. Let's see. Uh, automatic pistol. Let's go with uh, sci-fi fictional. You know. Meme. Oh, let's go meme. The daggle. You know, I mean, I, it'll take some time to uh, get used to the uh, tags. But you still have the uh, list or the grid. Which is uh, fine. I can still use this. Uh, I can actually display a lot more with a list. Only 22 pages. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And of course, I really like this. This is pretty cool. The the update uh, for our new guns, for the new update. I don't have to uh, find them in the item spawner anymore. Like, uh, <laughs> like recently, I was looking for... Um, Let's see, um, where is the new pistol? Where's the new pistol that was in the latest? Oh, there it is, right? Do that. All you got to do now is just click update 100. Bam, new pistols, new uh, new weapons. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what would be really cool though, and I, I know this would probably impl th this would probably be more work for Anton, but we would have like all the updates, right? Sort of like a history of HDVR. Again, it's a lot of work. It's probably not never going to happen, but that would be a really cool thing, though, if uh, somehow that were to happen. But this is still pretty cool. I like this. So, you know, whatever new update, I don't have to search for it in the item spawner anymore. I just, I just right there, click update 100, bam, all the new guns in this uh, update, which uh, we just grab one here, the APS, the Stichkina. Where's the magazine? There it is. There you are. And I think he fixed the... Uh, yep, he did. He fixed the... The video, that uh, bug you saw in the video. Where he summoned the wrong suppressor. Fix that. Cool. That's the item spawner. Oops. And uh, oh, also, this item spawner is not just limited to the probing grounds. Let's uh, jump into the uh, the indoor firing range. It's also here. So, you know, if you want targets to shoot other than Sosigs, then uh, you got them. In here. There it, there it is. So... It's a little far from the uh, target, but uh, it works. It's here. Let's grab ourselves the uh, revolver. Speed loader. Yeah, so eventually I think it'll move over here and replace that item spawner. But... Uh I don't know why I'm shooting the target uh, this close to distance, but, uh, yeah. Let me just do one more, and I think I can end this video. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I got some stuff to do today, so I can't, unfortunately, play, uh, you know, other things like Take and Hold. I've been meaning to, but, again, I've been kind of busy. So that's about it for today, and I will see you guys next time.